Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at a very easy and simple way to remove the modern UI applications from Windows 10. And this is going to work on the new Windows 10 Creators Update which I did a video on uh, a couple of weeks ago and if you're interested in seeing that and seeing all of the, of the new features that are in that update I'll have a YouTube card come over the top right of your screen right now. But essentially, uh, Microsoft has made it very difficult to get the modern UI uh, or the Metro applications in Windows 10 off of your computer. And for somebody like me who doesn't use those um, applications and you find them kind of just as taking up a bunch of hard drive space, it can be kind of you know annoying when you open up your uh, Windows start menu and you see all these applications that you have no intention of using. And if you try to go into the uh, standard Windows settings application here and go into, I believe you just have to go into apps and features is, uh, is uh, what it's called in Windows 10. And you'll see that you have all like, it will list all these applications here, but some of them do not give you a, an option to uninstall. So this is one that does, but uh, alarms and clock, you'll see that uninstall has been grayed out. App installer, you can choose to uninstall if you want. Uh, calculator uninstall has been grayed out camera uninstall so all these ones um that you know like basically the core metro ui applications uh microsoft wants to keep those on windows 10 and they want to make it very difficult for you uh to take them off of your computer now they don't take up that much space but if you're somebody who doesn't plan on like actually you know using these applications and if you just want to kind of free your Windows uh, start menu of all of this clutter, I'm gonna be showing you a very simple and free way of doing this. And it's actually using a very popular program called CCleaner. Now I personally use uh, CCleaner on, on my main computer and I have used it to do what I'm going to show you today. So I'm gonna have this link down below in the video uh, description. And CCleaner is uh, a free version. However, they, they do have a pro version called CCleaner Pro we're only going to need the free version for this to work so all you have to do is just uh, click on download C cleaner and go over here to the left side for the free download and when you do that it's going to uh, bring you to this page right here which once again basically compares the free pro and pro plus versions but we're only going to need again the free version so you just want to click on download for the second time and then it will actually download uh, the setup file so we're just going to open this here once it finishes downloading and go through the uh, very simple setup process. Um, so I do believe you have to click on customize if you do want to change some of these options. So for example, if you don't want a desktop or a start menu shortcut, all this is you know going to be fine for me. So I'm just going to click on install. Um, they, they don't try to put uh, like any adware or anything like that on uh, your system, which is pretty nice. So we're going to uncheck view release notes and run CCleaner. Now, CCleaner is mainly a, you know, as the name suggests, it's a cleaning tool for Windows and you can use it to clean uh, all of your, uh, you know, temporary junk files from all of these different programs. It, uh, you know, supports a wide variety of, you know, a lot of programs that you might have installed. There's also a uh, registry cleaner included as well, but what we're going to need is if you go to the tools section, there's this uninstall uh, section right here. And it's in here where we can actually see um, all of these apps that we can't uninstall through the uh, regular Windows apps and features. So if we go to alarm clock once again, you'll see the uninstall option is grayed out. However, in CCleaner, we can go to alarms and clock and click uninstall. And it's going to pop up with a confirmation box. You just want to click on OK. And it's going to very simply uh, you know, take that off of your computer and remove it from the list. If we go back in here, you'll see that alarms and clock is now gone. It's not in this list anymore. It was right uh, below 3D Builder. And if we do a search for it, uh, it actually prompts you to install the app. Windows alarms and clock, it asks you to install it instead of actually being able to run it. So if you wanted to get this again, you would have to download it from the Windows Store. So we can go through here and you know just uninstall all these applications. So you know 3D Builder, we don't need App Installer, we don't need if you don't want. Um, the Windows calculator. Now on my computer I kept the Windows calculator because uh, I do use that from time to time uh, and the Xbox stuff right here as well as the Windows Store in case I actually wanted to uh, download these apps again because if you take the Windows Store off of your computer you will not be able 
to uh, download these apps again. So keep that in mind when you're going through here and uh, removing all those. But you know, you can just go through here and get rid of all these apps, which I I'm gonna do. All right, so I've gone through and removed all of those uh, Metro UI applications, and we now are only left with six apps on the entire computer. So look at how much just space, like not, like if it's not a large amount of actual hard drive space, just look at how much space that it clears up when you're actually looking at how many programs that you have installed. Now, I did go through and not only took off all of the modern UI uh, apps, but I also took off all of the bloatware like Candy Crush that Microsoft bundles with Windows 10 now for whatever reason, uh, as well as you know some of the other things that they put in here that you generally just don't need. So now if we go uh, into the start menu here, you'll see that the uh, all programs list looks um you know a lot uh, less cluttered and apparently they are or already installing more apps this is something that uh has been another issue uh, with windows 10 is that it will auto install new applications there's a way of actually changing that um but you have to do it uh, from the windows registry which is you know a little bit complicated for some people but you know for for most people if you don't use any of these features if you find it very annoying that microsoft puts all this stuff on your system and you can't remove it and you see here that I've gone through and taken off everything, even the Paint 3D program um, that is in the Windows 10 Creators update, it's not on here anymore. You can see when I search for Paint 3D, it's not there. Now, one of the things that I should, uh, you know, kind of warn you when you do this is if you take off uh, the Windows um, Photo Viewer, uh, whatever it's called, I think it's called Photos in the modern UI, and then Groove Music, um, I don't, th I think there is Windows Media Player on Windows 10, so you still can open, um, yeah, so here's Windows Media Player right here, so you can still open um, audio and video files, but for photos, it's a little bit different, as when you take off the Photos Modern UI program, there's actually no other photo viewer on the computer except for Microsoft Paint. So I can show you this on my main computer here, but if I wanna open up any image file, it will default to opening it up in Microsoft Paint. So if you don't want to use Microsoft Paint, it's probably not the best choice for using as a photo viewer, but you can see this was a PNG file. Here's a JPEG file here. They all will open up in Microsoft Paint. So if you do that, you're going to have to download another photo viewer. You know, there are a couple from Microsoft, some of the older ones like the Windows Live photo viewer. You could choose that one or you could get a you know whole different third party one if you prefer that. But you know you're you're gonna have to download one, which I'm gonna probably be uh, doing as well because I don't want to use Microsoft Paint uh, as my default photo viewer. But that's one of the things that I just would you know kind of uh, just like to let you guys know about if you do decide to end up doing this. But that is about going to wrap it up for this quick little video. I thought this would be uh, something you know very cool to make, very simple. You know, it's a very simple way uh, of you know taking off all these applications. As I've seen a lot of people. Uh, complaining that they don't want all these apps on you know their machine they don't use them and they wish there was a way to uh, take them off and I actually found this when I was uh, using CCleaner to uh, uninstall a couple of programs I noticed that it had the functionality to take those programs off which was pretty interesting um, as the uh, regular Microsoft installer does not so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below for more videos like this in the near future and as always i will see you guys in the next video